I'm here at um, the Telefonica base camp for our first IoT Kitchen Talk together with Telefonica Germany. And I have right next to me Dr. Patrick Kramer. He's the founder and CEO of DigiWell Smart Up Your Life. And um, he's one of the greatest cyborgs I know. So Patrick, tell me what makes you a cyborg? Hi, um, Nicole. Um, basically, I'm wearing constantly, voluntarily, a um, RFID NFC implant in my hand. And um, that is, by definition, makes me a cyborg, yes. Great. And tell me, how many people do you have implanted chips in their bodies? Oh, good question. Um, since, uh, yeah, since one of the biggest fairs in Germany where we were, I think it's probably over a hundred, somewhere in the hundreds um, so far. Okay, so um, what can I do with the chip if I have an implant in my hand? Well, there, there is not only one chip, there are like three different kind of chips we have at the moment, or even four. Um, so taking the most uh, normal ones, we have an NFC part and an RFID part on it. And the RFID part is for identification. So wherever I am and I need to identify myself, you probably have an employee badge where you hold against an RFID reader and you can enter a door. Or here, um, this for instance is exactly the door that I have at home. Well, not the door, but the door lock. And um, it's a digital uh, cylinder and I just hold my, my hand again it and I can enter my door so I don't need keys anymore or you can you don't need for instance your um, traditional boring smartphone boarding pass anymore at airlines you can identify yourself with a hand or you go in a fitness gym or you pay even there so that's basically everywhere you, where you identify yourself you can go there the other part is the information part where you can store any kind of information you like on your implant for instance I'm wearing my business card on my hand but of course last time I was in Berlin I had my GPS coordinates of my car stored there and you know I was um, afraid I wouldn't find it anymore or other um, social media links or pin codes or even when you're when you're at school and you want to cheat you put some information there no it's it's basically it's up to you what kind of information you want to store there great and um, tell me about what is that with the DNA music and the chip together so how does that work the DNA music Oh gosh, good question. So basically what we have is we are taking the DNA of a person that makes us really unique. So let's say, I don't know for sure, but let's say 99% of our DNA is like, you know, universal. We all have the same DNA. But only this 1%, you take that and you turn that into music. And depending on your on your DNA, you have very specific music pattern. And that kind of music um, is then... Tr Component, component com componiert um, into like really music and that is going to be stored then on your implant so you basically carry your own personal DNA music on your implant with you which I think it's totally cool that's pretty cool so we will try that at the next seabird right yeah I hope so we will do that Nicole and we will see how you sound <laughs> great okay thank you so much for your time Patrick